Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone and peace and blessings to all you out there, out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. This is the brother Kwara Abai from the GMS Houston camp. So I want to go into a lesson. Uh, I was on my way to the plantation this morning, man, and you know, listen to um, a couple of videos, news videos, and it's all bad news. It's all bad news for America. It's not gonna get better. It's not gonna get better for America. It's impossible. You see, it's impossible. First and foremost, why? Because it's written within the scriptures that America has to fall before the kingdom of heaven be set up. Right. Before the son of the most high Whose name is Yahweh Shai Not Jesus Christ When he come back at his second coming You see And set up his kingdom No other nations Or no other kingdoms will be ruling At the time of the son of the heavenly father Father's kingdom man Only Yahweh Shai and the Israelites will rule You see So clearly America have to fall man There is no hope for America you know, so I just want to hop into a couple precepts. I only got, you know, just a few. And I want to play this clip from Christopher Green over there at AMTV. And he an Edomite. But just the thing, it's beautiful because even these Edomites who so, who so gung-ho about their America, right? The, the red, white, and blue. You see, you know, the stars and the stripes. You see? Who got all the American pride, they even know. You see? They even know, man. <laughs> that America is done with Matter of fact That's that's gonna bring us to uh, Our start of scripture man They even know America is over with man They know their time to rule is over with You see someone play a little clip from him Probably a couple like 30 seconds 40 seconds then you know Get into these scriptures but Real quick this revelation 12 And 12 It says Therefore rejoice ye heavens And ye that dwell in them Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is the physical counterpart of Satan and all, right? The devil is the so-called white man, as it is written in 2 Thessalonians 2. You see? The so-called white man coming is after the working of Satan. So the devil right here is talking about the rulers of the current earth. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man, the Edomites. So it says, the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. It's going to tell you why it says because he knoweth he knoweth right he knoweth that he have but a short time man so the white man about to show his true colors in other words the devil about to show his horns man you know he's been setting himself up like he is god like he jesus you know like he just the ultimate the, the proper uh well-mannered you know a uh, uh, nation on earth well no the white people are the base people on earth man and now that they see they're about to lose their rulership what are they going to do? They're going to get their blessing, which is the sword, which is the weapon. They're going to get their blessing and fight for their fight for their kingdom, fight for their blessing, man. You see? He know he got a short time, so he about to go all out, you know? But the point is, it won't happen. There's no hope. It's already written within the scriptures. You see that America have to be destroyed, man. Right? And this one scripture right here prove it. And I'll play the little clip. And then uh, we'll get some more precepts. But this one scripture alone prove America will not go back to normal, man. America will not be made great again. You see? This is uh, Jeremiah 51. And I'm going to start at 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Now, in the scriptures, we know it was an ancient Babylon during the time of Nebuchadnezzar, man. But you have to remember Isaiah 47 speaks of a daughter of Babylon. So Babylon, you will have another kingdom, right? In the likeness of Babylon. Man, which also in Babylon means confusion. Now who what nation on earth you see uh uh breeds the most confusion, man? America. America. Right? And by America it spread its confusion across the four corners. You have homosexuality, you know. Uh, all these abominations So on and so forth man But so this Babylon is talking about America That we reading about Matter of fact Let me grab that real quick in uh, Revelations Because what it said in Jeremiah just now We're going to go back to this Jeremiah 
after Revelation. But what it says in Jeremiah 51 and 7, it says, Babylon have been a golden cup, a golden cup in the Lord's hand, right? You see? It says, uh, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad, right? All these nations have been taken uh, after the ways and the customs of America, man. Leaving their ancient customs and starting to act like America. You having... Uh, 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 Arabian women coming over here You see from, from the east After being dressed up and covered They see how these American women get down Now they want to show their asses And, and wear booty shorts and, and tank tops And blind wigs In contacts you see <laughs> You feel me Now they want to get Instagram and, and get an OnlyFans man You see America have Forced its ways upon all nations of the earth but let's read it in Revelation because it says something about the same thing. Revelation 17, and I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 4. Because this is talking about that, that Babylon that we're talking about in Jeremiah. Same one. Remember it said a golden cup in Jeremiah? Let's read. Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman, right, this woman who sat upon that, uh, that, that beast with seven heads and ten horns, talking about America and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup that same golden cup in Jeremiah having the golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth so in Jeremiah, it's talking about the same Babylon and Revelation, America, man. You see? America have pushed the wicked ways upon the world. Hey, that's why the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked have total rulership over the earth, but the main rulership uh, spot for the white man right now is America. But getting back to the point of Jeremiah, Salaki, I don't want straight too far off. I want it to be a quick little lesson, but... Going back to that Babylon, this is going to prove right here America would never be brought back to normal. You see? There's no hope for America, man. Back in Jeremiah 51 and 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bone for her. If so, she may be healed. Right? If, if America may be healed. But you got to remember, when you go into Revelation 13... When it was going into that fourth beast, talking about the Roman Empire, it says it came up another beast like the fourth beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Because remember, Rome fell, right? In the time of the Dark Ages, that's when that deadly wound came because the Edomites got taken out of rulership. But then it healed by coming back up into rulership during the time of the Renaissance, right? The rebirth of the Edomites. But now that daily wound have been healed in the form of America, man. So you have to remember, America, you wasn't healthy from the jump. You was you was brought up already within the wound. You already within the wound, in a daily wound at that. <laughs> you ain't just come up on no on no no righteous and strong, honest foundation. No, it was built off rape, rob, murder, lies, deceit, riches got by deceit. You see? So you was already formed within the daily womb. So it's no hope from the jump. It was no hope for, for America from the jump. You was already within the daily womb. So the only thing to do was something that was already within the daily womb and that was healed. Now it's time to amputate it because that wound is getting worse. It's time to amputate uh, the so-called white man and cut him out of here, man. Along with his, 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 uh, his current rulership. You see? And it says Babylon is fallen. Suddenly falling and destroyed how for her take bond for her so she may be healed, right? And that's what Trump trying to push. Let's make a make America great again. We might heal her, but watch what it's going to say. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And that proves right there America would not go back to normal. You can you can you can pump all the money you want. You can give people stimulus checks. You can try to to to, to open up and create jobs. You see? Make GMO food since since you feel me? Since the, the food supply going down, make people wear masks and all this. No, there's no way to heal America, no matter what you do. America going to continue to go in debt. You see, going to continue to get worse and worse and worse, man. You see? Right? I'm going to continue. It's a lot of that rain falling if it's a little loud in the um, microphone. But it says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her <laughs> and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, man. 
You see? Because America about to get that judgment, man. It's time for America to, hey, to, to, to pay, to get paid back for what is done on the earth. Right? But I'm going to play this uh, quick clip from Christopher Green because even he know it and he a America lover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga lover, he a America lover, man. Right? Because this is his kingdom. But even he know what's going down. I'm going to play it real quick. Pay some kind of monthly fee or maintenance fee or subscription just so that they could go and patronize your restaurant and that would be a great alternative way and alternative thinking to raise revenues to maybe keep your local mom and pop shop in business now that's probably not the uh you know only thing that you should be doing but just to give you one example of thinking outside of the box how you can be proactive in an environment where the whole goal is to shut down small and medium-sized businesses in america nationalize all major corporations and industries from the too big to fail bankster elite all the way to the airlines of which warren buffett sold every single stock he owned because he's betting against america and never planning for travel to open up like it once again uh we we, we grew accustomed to being europe is very much considering a ban on all incoming americans coming into european nations so there's no sign of things opening up again like they once were ever and i talked about this is just like the patriot act once they put in this draconian legislation Woo! you see that he said once they put in a draconian legislation now watch what he about to say because he about to say remember with 9 11 right 9-11 that brought what more security in airports you know because they say you know al-qaeda whoever broke in with a little butter knife took over a plane right and crashed into the uh twin towers so that brought forth tsa in the airports and that's permanent so he about to say just like tsa is permanent because 9-11 he gonna say draconian laws and tracking and tracing go be permanent because of the coronavirus now what's gonna make that permanent the rfid microchip listen in it's there permanently just like tsa is a permanent relic of the post 9 11 events covid will be a permanent relic of data tracing geolocation data tracing how they gonna trace you putting the chip inside of you the rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast and don't take it he said tracing they're gonna know where you at they're gonna know if you know got the updated vaccine so on and so forth man all by the chip and uh, immunity passports temperature checks Immunity passports are you up to date on your vaccines? You can go ahead and go through. You see? Play it back a little bit. It will be a permanent relic of data tracing, geolocation, uh, immunity passports, temperature checks, forced testing. You may or may not have the option, etc. In fact, they just announced in the state of Hawaii today, uh, the governor out in oahu said that in addition to a 14-day quarantine policy they're now going to create another option of which if you swab yourself with one of those big sticks down your nose and who knows what's on those things if you test negative even though statistically there's a lot of false positives on those same tests then you won't have to quarantine so you're actually getting two options but again the point is nothing will ever be the same again you heard uh, the economy nothing will ever be the same again and this is the thing edomites think well we still gonna be ruling america's still gonna be here it's just gonna be like for the next couple years we gotta wear masks for the next couple years we're gonna have to get tested and vaccine and our kids will have to get vaccine and wear masks to school you know your graduation we had a hat on with the mask on no that's that's not what this going to. They think their houses shall continue forever. No, no, it's gonna get worse and worse. It's gonna be something worse than the coronavirus. It don't end here. It don't stop here. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Just like the first thing Moses and Aaron did in Egypt, they threw the staff on the ground and turned into a snake. The coronavirus is just a staff being thrown on the, on the ground and turned into a snake. This is the first miracle and first plague of the Lord, man. <laughs> you feel me? They don't know something worse is gonna happen. Some you gonna wish the coronavirus was here in that day. You gonna wish though that that all you could do is get a swab stuck up your nose, man. It's gonna be worse in that day. You see? It's played, man. In the United States, will never be the same again, ever. These draconian restrictions and more taxes Draco Dra are coming down the pipe. Draconian restrictions was going to Revelation 13. He had two horns as a lamb, right? Uh, 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 Democrats, Republicans, they, they seem like they want to help you. They humble themselves like they want to really help the people. But it says two horns like a lamb, but spake as a dragon. Draconian laws, man. You see? Unrighteous decrees. Like as a result of 
the virus, and it's going to be with us for, for generations. It's never going away. Again, this will affect our children and grandchildren's future. All right, see, he think, he think we're going to be around that long, but man, no, America is at its end. America is at its end. <laughs> it, remember, Jeremiah just said it's impossible impossible for uh, Babylon to get healed. said we would have healed it. We would have made it great again, right? The bailouts would have brought the economy back. You see, we would have made the stock market better, right? We would have provided more jobs. We would have taken the homeless off the streets. You see, we would have vaccinated everybody so we all could be healthy. But guess what? None of that's going to happen, man. It got to get worse. Matter of fact, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and it's talking about the elites, right? It says, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder cease. The grinder cease. Talking about these jobs being shut down, these companies being closed, man. People losing jobs. You know, you go to work, you say, shit, I'm on my grind, man. I got to, you know, grind and get mine. Shit, you grinding for your money. Well, when you go to work, you grinding. But it says right here, the grinding go cease. And we seeing that 40 something, 40 some million people in America is jobless, unemployed. It's ceasing and it's going to cease even more. Because you got the mom and pop stores, they can't keep up. You see, they go go bankrupt. You know, people ain't buying cars right now, so car dealerships ain't looking too hot. You feel me? A lot of these companies about to go out of out of uh out of business, man. Putting the boards up, so on and so forth. With the protests, people damaging and breaking business, you know, so on and so forth, man. It's gonna get real bad out here. It says when the grinders cease because they are few There's only a few people left working right now It says because they are few Watch this And when the sound of the grinding is low Slacky It says because they are few And those that look out of the windows Windows be darkened man When you look out of the window You looking for something Well Americans Spiritually looking at it When they look out of the window It's dark And in other words You not seeing no future you see, you're not saying it's impossible for this thing to, to continue to go by. You know, when you look out of the window, it's nothing. So when you look into the future, seeing America get better, it's dark. In other words, that's why it says, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, man, because it's nothing prosperous that's coming to America. It's only a dark future coming to you, man. And that's all it's, it's evident that's all we seeing right here is nothing but bad news like a woman at my job she said i don't even like watching the news it's just some bad news you're right and that's good <laughs> you feel me and it says and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low man you see that but i'm gonna end it off on this because i'm already 30 minutes late for work man that's well I'm going to end it off on this because it's going to get worse, man. Second Ezra 16 and 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. They draw closer and closer and it's speeding up and ain't going to, you know, move slow. No, it's going to come quicker. Why you think every day is new news? Every hour I feel like it's new news. <laughs> Everything is updating so quick. It says, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, right? Within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb. Just like a woman, when she about to have that kid, yeah, she act a little contract, contractions here and there. You know, the further it is away from the birth, but the closer it get to the birth, within two or three hours, those contractions go get closer and closer, and they're going to hurt more and more. You see? And it says, when the child cometh, right, forth, they slack not a moment. As America getting closer to destro <laughs> being destroyed, it ain't going to ease up. The most high ain't going to ease up off America. No, he's going to make it worse. It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side, man. You see, and that's what we coming into. You know, that's what we coming into. America about to get destroyed, because it have to, because all nations have to be destroyed. Uh, when the kingdom of heaven is set up, man, and Esau is the last ruler, the so-called white man. Remember, we in the feet and the toes of the statue. When that stone come, the, the Israelites going to rule forever, man. You see? But with that, just wanted to go into a lesson, man. America will never, will not be made better. You see? Lord willing, those that are found, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. Hawa ba'ashim, yawashah, ba'ashim, chakwadash. And with that, shalom.